When expectant mom Leslie Schumann eats canned soup, she suspects it might not be the healthiest lunch, but she doesn't expect it to pose a health risk to her or her family. I've sometimes thought, you know, I'm not giving the most nutritious meal to my, my child. I, I never thought that anything to do with the packaging or the can would be what was harmful to them. As the issue of BPA safety is hotly debated, consumers like Leslie are left without clear answers. Just what is a safe level of BPA to ingest? There are more recent studies showing that exposure to low doses of BPA are associated with a wide range of adverse health effects, including various cancers, diabetes, and heart disease. Consumer Reports tested a variety of foods for BPA. Three samples of 24 different products, mostly canned. Included were ones from Campbell's, Del Monte, Green Giant, Hormel, Progresso, and others. Outside lab tests found many of the samples contained BPA levels that were higher, often much higher than the level Consumer Reports experts believe could pose a safety risk, especially to children and developing fetuses. It's important to note levels of BPA can vary significantly, even in the products we tested. Our tests were a small snapshot of the marketplace, so you can't draw conclusions about any one type of product or any particular brand. But there are things you can do that may help minimize your exposure. Ideally, choose fresh food over canned whenever possible. And for products children drink a lot of, consider alternatives, such as powdered infant formulas and bottled or boxed juice. Leslie Schumann says she'll make what she sees as small changes, hoping to reduce her family's risk big time.